This is a companion video I wanted to make to go along with the article I wrote back in 2017 called Configure the Atom Live Server to Use Chrome. And um, I thought I would make this video to help people out who weren't 100% sure what the Atom Live Server does for you and or how to kind of get it set up initially. Now, um, essentially what it does is it provides a little built-in web server and for people that are developing web projects with um, HTML and CSS and uh, JavaScript and whatnot, it's it's a nice quick and dirty way of getting um, a project up and running and having a interactive view as you edit um, and seeing your changes reflected sort of instantaneously in, in a browser. Which is, uh, which is great. Uh, the only problem and the reason why I wrote this article is that it works with your default browser and a lot of people use uh, Chrome for their, for their web development uh, environment uh, because of the Chrome developer tools and the stability of the browser and the speed of it and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I'm on a Mac here and um, the default browser for a Mac is Safari. Now you could change your default browser, but uh, I don't personally personally like to change defaults like that. I like to try and work around them. And I know I'm not alone. So um, if uh, if you are in a similar type of conundrum, you need the, this is this is the purpose of this article. And basically, what you can do on a project by project basis in Atom is add a little configuration file that will change the, uh, change, uh, the configuration of the Atom Live server package to utilize a different browser, in this case, Chrome. Um, so we'll, we'll open up uh, Atom, and I've got it set up here where I don't have a project folder configured yet. Uh, but you can see that I've got a bunch of packages here and Atom Live Server is available to me. Um, so what I'll do here is, um, the first thing I've got to do is add a project folder. And in this case, I'm going to have this be a new project folder. So we'll just call this Atom Test. And uh, now I've got a, a project folder, I've got to open it. And now you get your tree view of your project files here and and on this side we can edit a new file <clears throat> so I'll, I'll say uh, new file here and we'll save this as index.html and this will illustrate um, It'll illustrate how uh, a project like this works. Put an H1 here. So we save this, and now if I come up and run the Atom Live server. You'll see that it will open up the live server, but unfortunately, as you can see here, it is, um, it is using Safari. It's not what I want. I want uh, Chrome. Uh, also, uh, I seem to always do this, but I've got a couple little, little um, spurious uh, uh, less than signs in my HTML. So this is all stuff we would like to fix. So what we are going to do here is back to Adam. And um, this is where the article essentially tells you what you need to do, which is to um, is to add to our project directory a file called .atom-server.json. So we'll JSON file. 
So what we'll do is just copy this name. Oops. And back to Adam here. And we need to, in the project directory, in the root of the project directory, add a new file. And that file will be called dot atom dash live server dash live dash server dot json. Save that. And it's going to ask us, you know, do you really want to start this, the name of this file with a period because in Unix um, a period is a special uh, files that start with a period are uh, assumed to be system files and in a lot of cases those are hidden and now if you make a mistake and you do not name it with a period first none of this stuff's going to work it, this, it needs to be a system file so um, We've done this correctly, and now you basically just copy this little block of JSON from the file. It's obviously very simple. And just pop that in there. And that's really all we need to do. I'll, I've saved the file. And now I'm going to come back to packages uh, and start. I'm going to stop the live server there. Restart it again it is now opened up Chrome. You can see. So um, now when we come back here we can find our spurious little uh, extra SN signs to take those out. We'll save them. And you can see here in the background it updated. Okay, so that's Atom Live Server, how it works, and this is how you configure um, a different browser, in this case Google Chrome, which I think most people would want to do. So um, again, the, the important thing is that you need browser to be Google Space Chrome. Um, on my blog, somebody mentioned that they thought that you could just use Chrome, or they had used Chrome just Chrome, the word Chrome there and it doesn't work uh, in my testing at least and um, it's got to be Google Space Chrome. Um, so I guess that's all I wanted to say. Um, again my uh, blog is gizmola.com and I write about um, different types of uh, web development topics and I've written a bunch of stuff about relational databases, MySQL, uh, something I use a lot. Um, I'm also a uh, uh, consultant and uh, if you'd like to get in, in touch with me uh, for projects, um, I do a lot of uh, relational database design and things like that. Uh, feel free to contact me um, on the blog or uh, you can send me an email. And um, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope this helped. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, contact me on the blog.